A local community is helping one of its own employees get a home loan with taxpayer money on the line. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Eric Franke. Sarah is off tonight. Let's check in with the night team's David Douglas. He's in the news center with tonight's top story. David, we're talking about the top paid employee in the city of Monroe. Eric, the city administrator hired in December. Rules require him to live in Monroe, but he hasn't been able to seal the deal on a loan himself because of financial trouble in his past. We're a small town. We help each other. To the mayor, this resolution is just neighbors helping neighbors. We thought this was kind of a no-brainer, really. To some tax-paying Monroe residents, it's a sweetheart deal. I don't understand it. Does it seem unfair? Yes, it does. The words on this piece of paper spell out an insurance policy of sorts for city administrator Phil Rath. He's looking to buy a home in Monroe, and by vote of the council, if he defaults on the mortgage, the city will pay 30% of its principal to the bank. We've looked at several properties. Uh, there's one that uh, we'd like to put an offering on. But Rath is still climbing out from under another home purchase gone bad. So you do have a foreclosure, right? Do I have a foreclosure? Uh, yes. Guaranteeing a, a loan for city management just sends the wrong message at the wrong time. Michael Boyce is one of two city alders who voted against the resolution. He's sympathetic to Rath, but says Monroe needs to be more sympathetic to its own taxpayers and employees. The city's in the middle of negotiations with most of its bargaining units, and we're asking all of our employees to sacrifice in significant ways. I mean, we start that in. How many others are we going to have to help? Rath says citizens in his city have nothing to worry about. The problems are in his past. I don't take any pride in it. Um, but it's, uh, it's a matter of fact. I do credit the council for uh, giving me a chance and hiring me. Though outside City Hall, the mayor admits others aren't likely to get this kind of treatment. Well, that's absolutely correct. But then, of course, you know, we, we want this guy here. I mean, he's doing a great job for us. Um, he's going to be saving us a lot of money with his expertise and his knowledge. And Rath tells us he only ended up in foreclosure after two years of trying to make payments on two homes. He lived in Princeton, Wisconsin as a city manager before moving to Clinton, Wisconsin for the same job. And he said the renter on his Princeton home stopped paying and it just deteriorated from there. And David, to be clear, the city isn't spending any money on this right now. Not right now, just in the event of a default on the loan. The mayor says they knew about Rath's previous foreclosure when they hired him. And this just seemed like the right thing to do. All right, David Douglas on our news center tonight. David, thank you very much. Well